What are the certifications that you need to know as a CPG brand? This is one of the most confusing topics or even overwhelming if you're new, a new brand or you're new to the industry. There's so many different acronyms, it's not even funny. There's FDA, USDA, GMP, uh, NSF, SQF, the list goes on and on. I'm gonna break down in this video the bare minimum requirements you need to know about and also what the third-party certifications are for so you can be better equipped when choosing your manufacturer. First, we're gonna cover the bare minimum requirements any manufacturer needs to have to produce products in the US. I don't care if you're producing a cosmetic, an over-the-counter, a supplement product, or a food, you have to be registered with FDA and your manufacturer needs to provide an FDA, a copy of their FDA registration to you when you ask for it. Uh, second, for food specifically, there's USDA registration for food manufacturing. Uh, that's for U.S. Department of Agriculture. It's, it's regulated on a state-by-state -state level. Those are the two certifications they need to have on a very bare minimum level. That's just like the entry just to be able to produce products in the U.S. Next, we're gonna cover other third-party certifications. And this is really where things can get start getting a little confusing. Um, there's a few different ones that we're gonna cover. There's a lot more that I can dive into, but we're gonna start with the basics. So the first, SQF. This is for food manufacturers. It's a third-party certification, and there's other equivalents beyond SQF, but we're gonna talk about that one. That's the most popular for food manufacturers. It ensures that your manufacturer is compliant with not just FDA regulations, but also that they're being audited on an annual basis. And that's really important for retailers. Some retailers actually are Require that your manufacturer has an SQF or an equivalent certification. Next, we're gonna cover GMP certification. If your manufacturer is making dietary supplements, it's really important that they have a GMP certification. Um, this, the, any third-party auditor company will provide GMP certificates, and they're really auditing that manufacturer, making sure that they're compliant with the FDA CFR 111. That's the code, regulation code for regulating dietary supplement manufacturers. Next, we're gonna cover NSF certification. Now, NSF is actually a regulatory company that certifies companies to an SQF standard, to a GMP standard, and for sport. Um, they're one of the most widely recognized uh, auditing companies because they branded themselves very well, but they do provide equivalent certifications to many other companies. So when you ask for, is your company NSF certified? You actually need to ask for, are they NSF certified for SQF or for GMP? Again, very high quality standard. There's a lot of other equivalents out there. You just have to know what your manufacturer needs. And there's a long list of other third-party certifications that are really product specific. There's organic, kosher, halal, and you as a brand just need to determine, is that something that's needed for your product and who you're trying to market towards? And make sure that your manufacturer is compliant and certif a certified facility for that type of products. Um, so I hope this video was helpful for you guys to be able to equip you in better understanding the different types of certifications that are out there, what to ask your manufacturer, and make sure that you have the right certifications that you need for your product. Follow us if you wanna learn how to make manufacturing simple.